we tried to put something together here in Southwest Florida that hasn't been done before. This gives you a good warm feeling. The lifestyle here at River Landings is a Tommy Bahama type of lifestyle, kind of a laid back luxury lifestyle, if you will. They have the ability here to put a nice coach house in, but also have a pool on their lot. And then they've got their bus. And so it really, the whole concept ties together from boating to the bus, to the pool, to the oversized coach house, you know, just makes it a really nice layout. The more details I hear and the more about the thought that goes into this, the more I'm impressed. lots here the last few lots we have in phase one that are available lots 40 39 and 38 and we chose not to release all of our lots at one time this is the phase of the resort that's that's almost complete. So Rick, you wanna tell us a little bit about kind of some of these sites and coach houses and- I think what we've tried to do here is preserve a little bit of history too. If you take a look over here, uh, Andrew, you'll see this whole section right here. Um, we, we had the ability to add more lots, but we just wanted to keep that setting in there. And we have a patio back there, so you can go in there and sit and enjoy again, kind of a zen area, if you will. And what we wanted to do here is create this picturesque, if you will, uh, view with the buses and the coach houses and, you know, as you drive through, because a lot of people, you know, they spend a lot of time in their bus. They really like to see them. And I think they're proud of them. You know, we're very fortunate to have some of everyone in here. So we get a wide variety of, of coaches. So when people drive through the resort, they stand back and say, oh, wow, look at that one. And oh man, shoot, there's that. Oh. We wanted to do it phase by phase so that construction would not be an issue as owners built. We only allow construction from March till the end of December. And we try not to impact the folks when they're here to relax at their time. We don't want a lot of construction going on. So the basis was to finish <clears throat> phase one up and then release phase two and then phase three. So the construction will always work down towards the road. So people aren't having to run all around the resort. And um, the people that are up here won't have to necessarily be involved in all the construction going in phase two and further. Yeah, that's very well thought of. Um, Rick did not miss a single detail. When they designed this resort, they even thought about the scheduling of the construction. It just, just goes to show you how, how, how much thought is put into this. So this is our Hemingway model right here. The lifestyle here at River Landings is a Tommy Bahama type of lifestyle, Hemingway, kind of a laid back luxury uh, lifestyle, if you will. So all of our colors and all of the construction and the things we do really wrap around that type of lifestyle. And so with the Hemingway model, it's one of the larger models that we have where you have the garage for the golf cart, washer and dryer, you've got a bedroom, you got a bathroom, you've got a kitchen. But the neatest thing about the Hemingway is it lays itself open to entertaining. Oh, absolutely. A lot of folks like to entertain. And I think the concept here too, Andrew, that when I was traveling and trying to understand what the need was in the industry, what did people really want? I would sit and listen and I would take notes and then I would try and take that and put it together and that's what this really came from. Um, the idea of having your coach outside but yet protected and being able to entertain and have family down even though the coaches are beautiful, they're made for two people. And so this gives you ability because I know that Florida is always gonna be a destination. We, it's just gonna happen. Um, I, I think, you know, we always talk about, it. everybody says, well, where do most of your people come from? And in our research, what we find is that anybody east of the Mississippi will come to Florida. 
anybody west of the Mississippi usually will go out to California and Arizona. And so we have a lot of Midwestern folks that come in and, uh, you know, and at Christmas time or uh, times throughout the year, they'll bring their families down to get them out of the cold. And this is a perfect setup so that they can just really truly enjoy themselves. Hemingway opens up. Uh, to give you that, you know, you, you really take the outdoor uh, living and bring it to the inside, which is really what we're wrapped around. You know, we want it to be open and, and delightful and entertaining so you're not feeling claustrophobic. We try to give you a reason to use your bus. We try to, you know, remind you, you know, when you're here and you look out, there's the bus sitting right there. Uh, people love them. I mean, they love no matter what kind you have, but people like to see it. We'll run to concerts together and take the buses and go to the Keys or go, you know, to different venues. Uh, so the bus doesn't just sit here. We try to give them reasons to use it. Yeah. And being where we're located, any of these things that I talk about are a two, two and a half hour drive. I have to mention, it's really awesome to see this without all of the furniture, but I actually filmed another video of Dean's Coach House that is the same floor plan, but it's totally finished out. So um, make sure to check out that video if you wanna see what one of these looks like when it's completely furnished. You know, as we've talked about before, I didn't wanna have a lot of things, structures in the way that would block your views of being able to see the water and being able to see out. So one of the neat things we did, and we've talked about this, is this snow corner post thing. And this Hemingway model right here really lends itself to that. So you feel the spaciousness of it, and then you kind of come in and you're able to put your own little details together. You just have a lot of options here to really finish this out. But I think some of the things we look at is, you know, when you look at the screen there, for instance, we, we didn't want to have a lot of posts, so we do these uh, panoramic screens. Yeah. So you can see right through, and everywhere you look, you get nice open lines. One of the things too that we did was we made all of our lots pull in lots. So every coach pulls in onto the water. And, and at night, it really makes it nice to see it lit up and the bus is in the front and everybody's enjoying walking around. So it really makes it nice. Yeah. Really beautiful kitchen here with this huge, uh, is this like a marble countertop? Yes, yes. <clears throat> and then just the design they did, like these lights really flow together. We, we really wanted the coach houses to feel warm and relaxed. That's what we're about here. We're, we're about relaxing and enjoying the days. And uh, you know, with that lifestyle, the Tommy Bahama Hemingway uh, lifestyle, that we really tried to interject it here with our colors. And everything being based around the water atmosphere, it really, I think, brings it out. It's really, you know, truly laid back luxury, if you will. If you got me, we'll go through the Pilar. Perfect. The Hemingway is, uh, is this living area in here is about 600 square feet, but the total footprint of the Hemingway is 1,800 square foot. Okay. And then um, the Pilar is one, if you're not going to be here as often, you still want some space, but it's good to have people come in and stay with you if you're going to be here for a month or so. All the coach houses here have the same metal roof, so the design is all carried throughout the whole resort. And then underneath the, the uh, tongue and groove, ceiling there underneath the coach house. We did it three foot out, so it'd have a little bit of an impact. So you really feel that that vibe of the Tommy Bahama. And then one of the things we did here with the coach covers was if you take a look around the resort, we wanted to break up the roof lines a little bit. So the coach cover really helps break up those roof lines. And so when you look around, I didn't want something that is just totally sticking up in the air. So we designed it so the bus could fit underneath of it easy enough, but yet it enhanced and fell into the same line, sight lines as the roof of the coach house. I'll also add too, Rick mentioned in the previous video, there's only posts on one side. So to be able to have this large of a cover, but it's engineered where all of the weight is all held on these beams that are only on one side, leaves it so you can just, you don't have any posts in between you and the coach house and that just that's one of those details that really sets it off nice and i've had all kinds of people uh, asking me where you got those you gotta you gotta come by if you want one of these things you gotta come buy one from rick so yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, this is something that we have designed, and they're actually fabricated uh, locally. It, uh, I've had people call me and ask me where they can get them, but this is actually a true design of ours. The, the canvas, we worked long and hard on the canvas there to make sure that the satellite signal would go through it and that when the satellites come up, we position the beams at approximately where the coach would sit so that when the satellite comes up, it wouldn't hit any of the beams. So a lot of thought went into the design of this coach cover. And then when our owners leave at the end of April or so, uh, we have a team that comes in and we've designed this so that you just undo it on both corners and you just slide it off, roll it up and put it in the garage for the summer. Wow, so you actually remove the, can the fabric yeah. to prolong the life. Exactly. Wow. And it helps because we get a lot of winds in the in the summertime, so you take that factor of this thing blowing any way you want. Oh yeah, so preserve they, it. And they're light enough to, you know, it takes about 15 minutes to take them off. I don't think Rick skipped a single detail. I, uh, how many years, I gotta ask you, so the amount of thought that you're telling me, all these little details in, how many years of thought and, and, and preparation do you have into this to get to this point where you're able to sell these models sure. at this level? Sure. Well, um, I traveled for four years again around the country and got to meet a lot of people and got to see a lot of the new resorts that were coming out. And so we tried to put something together here in Southwest Florida that hasn't been done before. The government agencies really put us through the ringer from our permitting standpoint. Uh, so they analyzed us to the T. And so everything that we did uh, through the permitting process took longer and longer and longer. So as that process took us longer, different avenues started to open up for us. And then that ultimately gave us everything we wanted. And I remember at the last zoning hearing and, the, and they were getting ready to give us our final approval. And he said, Rick, you've asked for everything underneath the sun and the kitchen sink. And I said, yeah, I said, I did. And, uh, and I said, I did it for a reason. I said, because I wanted to give everybody exactly what they wanted. And that's what I feel we've done here. So this model here is our Pilar. Uh, this is a smaller model that we have, kind of the same footprint as the Hemingway, but just in a smaller context. Uh, you still have the garage, the golf cart, you still have the bedroom, still have the bathroom. But what we did was we took the kitchen area and made that slightly smaller. Uh, roof line is the same, but we did take out the column here and we took the column out because we felt this model lend itself to entertaining, you know, getting in and out of your bus a little quicker and then coming over here and walking out onto the porch. And then again, you have the ability to screen in the whole thing. You have the ability to put a pool in here. It just gives you a lot of uh, variety. A lot of footprint, a lot of outdoor area with the Pilar. You know, the flooring, again, bringing that warm lifestyle together, um, full-size restroom and shower and full-size bedroom and closet. So it gives you a lot of opportunity. This is a, our cost-effective model, if you will. The things that, that we did with the vaulted ceilings just makes it feel like you've got a lot more room. You know, you're not, all of, all of our ceilings are eight foot um, and we didn't want them any shorter. Uh, we put the bigger doors and then uh, the vaulted ceilings. So it took us a while to kind of get that design completed, but it just makes it feel a lot bigger. These two models are available and I would encourage you to give us a call and come down and see them for yourself and let us take you on a private tour and let you feel what we feel here. And it's the relaxation of a, of a really neat uh, motor coach resort. So.